Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous and I mean over the top beautiful last day of February uh, on this bright summer day in February. It is Sunday, February 28th, uh, 2021 and I have to get outside and start uh, planting and repotting tomato plants in February to get a head start on my garden in, in New York. Yes, it is tomato planting day here in the collapse of uh, global industrial civilization. I tell you, what are you doing? What was that? Are you gonna debug or what? Where's that bug? Where's that bug? Uh, but anyway, guys, since it is Sunday, uh, I just did a reading from um, this book called Coyote, which is actually this book about koi wolves. So if you want to try to figure out what these weird new animals are uh, up there in the northeast U.S., up there in New England and New York State, these koi wolves. I highly advise you to go listen to that video and get that book. But as I read uh, part of that reading, uh, Catherine, I've already forgotten Catherine's last name. Good Lord, my, uh, my short-term memory. I just did a reading from this woman. I, I can't believe I remember her first name. But anyway, what Catherine was talking about 17 years ago, you know, talking about this unbelievable hatred that uh, people have for wolves, uh, and, and this is pretty much worldwide. While why all of these dog lovers uh, absolutely despise wolves, and uh, you know, and she mentions well in other parts of the book how. She saw 17 years ago some turning of the tide and that people were finally, you know, starting to understand that wolves are a good thing for the ecology, these apex predators, uh, you know, talking about how the tide was turning uh, in favor of wolves. And I'm, and I'm thinking, what are you talking about, lady? Uh, you know, she's a a liber a, a white liberal suburbanite uh, in Massachusetts. Well, maybe in maybe in your neighborhood, darling. But uh, anyway, so with that as a backdrop, uh, I'm gonna put you down, you little wolf, you little koi wolf. Uh, so while I am reading this book about koi wolves. Of course we have some uh, some uh, news coming out of the state of Wisconsin. We're not we're not in Massachusetts anymore. We are we are in the real world of Wisconsin. So uh, I went down in Wisconsin this week. Many versions of this story, but I'm gonna go over to the little lefties over there at HuffPost for a reality check on uh, where, how far we have evolved uh, since uh, coming over here, however many hundreds of years ago. All right. <clears throat> Wisconsin shuts down wolf hunt after 216 wolves are killed in three days. And uh, we're going to talk about this later in the article, but what this whole thing uh, is, is hinged upon was Donald Trump, the Donald Trump uh, administration and the last days of his administration. One of the last uh, wounds he inflicted upon this planet is that, um, you know, as a giveaway, to, uh, to, to ranchers mostly, he delisted <clears throat> gray wolves, sometimes known as timber wolves. He delisted uh, the wolf from the Endangered Species Act, which had been actually a, a 
a success story that the Endangered Species Act had actually been a little bit successful in bringing wolves back to the lower 48, but with days left to go, uh, Donald Trump and his henchmen stripped federal protection from the wolves, and so any state now can just pretty much uh, shoot, trap, poison, whatever they want to do to the wolves. Anyway, uh, just so you understand the, uh, and we're going to talk about this later on, but anyway, take it away, HuffPost. Wisconsin officials shut down a planned week-long wolf hunt in just three days after 216 of the animals were killed, 82% more than the maximum that had been set by the state. Uh, this is an, an anonymous spokesperson for the Great Lakes Indian Fish and Wildlife Commission. Uh, quote, this season, meaning this wolf hunting season, trampled over tribes' treaty rights, the Wisconsin public, and professional wildlife stewardship. It will go down as a stark example of mismanagement and the problems that can be expected when the state legislature and the courts embrace special interest groups over the public as a whole, close quote. And what uh, he's talking about, don't get me in a rant uh, about the noble savage uh, being a friend of the wolf. But anyway, uh, I, I, I'm not going to get off on that rant, but what he's talking about is, um, and this is all over the U.S., that the American public, by orders of magnitude, wants to see the wolf brought back, that it is a tiny handful of these what I call welfare ranchers. I call them the Bundy Gang that, you know, have all of these politicians uh, in their pockets where the, the, the public, uh, what the public wants, the vast majority of the public just completely ignored. Uh, you know, to, to hand off this little, uh, this little goodie to these planet eaters. Megan Nicholson, director of the Wisconsin chapter of the Humane Society of the U.S., called this the killing spree, quote, a deeply sad and shameful week for Wisconsin. Yes. Uh, after the state lost a court case and an appeal this month against Hunter Nation of Kansas, a group that had demanded a rush on a wolf hunting season, state officials initially set the maximum kill number at 200 wolves. That is nearly 20 percent of the state's total wolf population, but the number was reduced to 119 after the Ojibwe tribe claimed their treaty rights to 81 of the animals. The Ojibwe consider the animals sacred and are opposed to the hunt. Um, this uh, again is a statement from the Indian Fish and Wildlife Commission Quote, to many Ojibwe communities hunting in late February, a time when fur quality is poor and when wolves are in their breeding season, is regarded as especially wasteful and disrespectful, close quote. So anyway, so they, so after the, uh, the Ojibwe's weighed in, so the state of Wisconsin supposedly set a target of 119 wolves to be killed over a seven-day period this past week. 
But what happened after only three days? The t but the total number of wolves killed as of Thursday blew well past that cap to 216. Even more kills may yet be reported. Yeah, right. Uh, there, there's two problems uh, with that Senate's Huff Post. Uh, the, that the recorded number of kills will probably be reported, but it is the unreported number of kills uh, that no one is going to come forth and admit to. The number of wolves killed in Wisconsin last week is a hell of a lot higher than 216. A hell of a lot higher. Uh, <clears throat> Hunter Nation, you know this group of uh, wolf murderers, Hunter Nation rushed to sue for the hunting for the hunting and trapping season after wolves wolf protections were eliminated when the Trump administration delisted the animals from the Endangered Species Act in January, just weeks before Donald Trump left office. GOP lawmakers backed the rushed hunt because they feared the Biden administration would reestablish protection for wolves. Okay, guys, so here I go in my broken record rant. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't know why I waste time on this. Uh, this is in no way, shape, or form uh, Sam Mitchell uh, thinking that Joe Biden is going to do anything to save this planet. Okay. Uh, that being said, my guess is that Joe Biden will put the uh, wolf back on the endangered species list where it belongs. This is what I mean when I say the difference between Donald Trump and Joe Biden is the difference in Donald Trump's case being a nuclear radiation, you know, peeling the skin off your face burn against this planet, while Joe Biden is just a third degree sunburn uh, against the uh, planet. But at least with Joe Biden, uh, you know, while he's cheering on uh, the Green New Deal and cheering on the United Nations and all of this crap over here, uh, at least what we can expect, people who uh, have the slightest uh, respect for this planet, is that Joe Biden will, will throw the environmentalist a few scraps. Uh, that Joe Biden will repair some of the most egregious, over-the-top assaults against this planet and, and our fellow Earthlings that Donald Trump uh, unleashed against this planet in his four-year reign of ecocidal terror. Okay? Uh, you know, when, when Donald Trump uh, is your bar that you set for yourself for environmental protection, you know, uh, it doesn't take much, but uh, my guess is that uh, Joe Biden is going to put the wolf back on the endangered species list and score a few points with uh, the greenies. All right, so what really went down last week? The wolf hunt began Monday, six, week, six days ago, and was supposed to run through today, meaning Sunday, but the State Department of Natural Resources halted it on Wednesday afternoon when the body count skyrocketed. Hunters and trappers and trappers were given a 24-hour grace period, allowing them to remain in the field until Thursday afternoon. 
officials said nearly 90% of the wolf hunters used dogs to chase down the animals and that fresh snow helped them track the wolves. And since the hunt occurred during the breeding season, pregnant females were almost certainly among the dead wolves. 46% of the animals, you know, that were officially recorded were female. Uh, you know, these wildlife officials reported. The DNR had initially planned the hunt for November of, of, of this year, which would have given pups born in the springtime a chance to grow and would have allowed for a thorough assessment of the wolf population as well as public input and planning. But of course, uh, the state of Wisconsin uh, having no interest in public input because probably 90% of the public input would have been opposed to this slaughter, this out and out slaughter. Uh, DNR officials said on Thursday they were constantly monitoring the hunt numbers, but admitted they had failed to stay on top of them. This is uh, DNR Wildlife Management Director Eric Lobner. Should we have closed the season sooner? Yes. Did we go over? We did. Was that something we wanted to have happen? Absolutely not. Yes, after giving them a 24-hour grace period after uh, it, it was totally apparent by Wednesday, uh, you know, uh, officials nevertheless insisted the wolves could survive the massive hunt, but wildlife and environmental organizations, experts warn that the state's wolf population has not yet recovered and that a hunt like this one could put the animals back on the road to extinction. Well, that is exactly what uh, the state of Wisconsin wants. Uh, you know, in the pockets uh, uh, of these uh, welfare ranchers, that is exactly what Donald Trump wants. And uh, I guess by extension, anybody who voted for Donald Trump, anybody supporting Donald Trump at this point has the blood of wolves all over them. Uh, you know, I just don't get it since I know my best friend in the world is, is not uh, going to listen to this video. You know, my best friend in the world who is a, an absolute wolf hugger. She's from Wisconsin, absolutely loves wolves in this, and she is a die-hard Donald Trump supporter. My best friend on the planet is, is a die-hard Donald Trump supporter. Of course, I sent her this story and said thank you uh, to your hero, Donald Trump. Uh, you know, how, how anybody uh, with the tiniest slice of conscience and heart uh, and, and it could, could vote for this uh, planet eating uh, just you know just this this just this murderer this cold-blooded murderer I mean it absolutely shocks me while I'm having this uh, making this video Donald Trump is about uh, 90 minutes from me at the uh, giving his speech uh, to the cheering mobs at the CPAC uh, convention going on down the street for me. Anyway, this is uh, Friends of the Wisconsin Wolf and Wildlife Executive Director Melissa Smith, quote, 
you remove one wolf and you are essentially destabilizing and killing the entire pack. And uh, that's especially, you know, when the alpha wolf is taken uh, out. Um, this is Elizabeth Ward, director of the Wisconsin Sierra Club, quote, this hunt represents an unprecedented and extreme departure from sound science-based wildlife practices. Hunter Nation, you know, the ones who, uh, this group of uh, bloodthirsty planet eaters who rammed this uh, through Wisconsin, called the outrage surrounding the 80% overkill of the wolves, quote, hysteria. Yes, this hunt was only the fourth wolf hunting and trapping season in the state's history and the first one ever held during the breeding season. Wolves, which are native to the state, were wiped out by the mid-1900s due to unregulated hunting, poisoning, and bounties. The species began recovering in the 1970s under increased protections, and then it ran into Donald Trump. Uh, so if you enjoyed this story, uh, maybe uh, you would enjoy some of these other stories from HuffPost. Most of these uh, I've already covered. How about Trump administration boots gray wolves from endangered species list. Here is federal official seeking person who scraped the word Trump into manatees back. That happened in the very county that I'm bringing the, this to you, you know, with this Trump tard scraping the word Trump into a manatee's back. And uh, seagrass, which of course is a favorite food of the planet-killing manatee, <clears throat> seagrass is a vital weapon against climate change. But we, and manatees, are killing it. Anyway, guys, th this whole thing uh, with the, these wolf hunts, uh, y y you know, it is a pretty thin line between uh, these wolf hunts and uh, that carnage going on over there in the cove over there in Japan, you know, that, that annual dolphin slaughter. Uh, you know, I, I, how many years have I been saying if we as a species don't just have the most, the most bare moral compass uh, of understanding the difference between plain right and wrong that we see uh, over there in the cove in Japan. We see up there in Wisconsin with this slaughter going on uh, this week. You know, if we, uh, just as a species, do not have the most fundamental uh, concepts of right and wrong to, to stop this absolutely senseless slaughter, this indefensible, senseless slaughter, we, we are doomed. We, we can't stop this. And, 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 and you're telling me uh, we're, we're going to uh, somehow save the planet uh, you know, with your little solar panels in outer space or whatever. Uh, humans need to go. We are, uh, I don't know whatever happened to my old buddy, all raw Paul. I think I, I think I have an idea what happened to all raw Paul off this channel. Uh, what was his, uh, he had this seven word saying, uh, he, he boiled humans down to seven adjectives. 
I, I can't remember what I, uh, all raw Paul's list of humans, the seven reasons we need to go and uh, just leave it to these poor earthlings to pick up the slack that we leave behind. But let's all uh, cheer on Joe Biden. The, Uncle Joe, could you please put the wolf back on the endangered species list, Brother Joe? And with that, I'm going to wrap up this rant on the last day of February and get out there and start planting tomato plants. Looking forward to tomato season. I suggest you get out there and start planting tomato plants in February. <clears throat> Why, you still can. Bye, guys. <laughs>